sadakta kabisa mabibi na mabwana popote mulipo ni matumaini yangu kwamba mpo salama karibu ni wapashe yale ambayo yameweza kujiri happy new year happy new year of prosperity 2024 Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kukuletea mibaraka katika nyumba yako Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kukupea kazi ambayo inadumu iwapo hauna kazi Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kukupea kazi ambayo unapokea mshahara mnono angalau uweze kusaidia familia yako pamoja na wazazi wako mwaka huu mpya ambao tunaoanza na muomba Mwenyezi Mungu akupe afya njema akulinde vile vile na aweze kulinda jamii yako karibu tusonge mbele jina langu nafahamika kama Mr Eagle 8 mtazamaji wangu mara nyingi ukitaka kujua viongozi ambao wanaongoza taifa wanaongoza taifa kwa njia iliyo nzuri utaweza kujulia kutoka kwa wahubiri wa Mungu nikimaanisha pastors lakini ukitaka kujua vile vile kwamba viongozi hawa hawaongozi taifa kwa namna ambayo ni nzuri vile vile utaweza kujulia uh, kutoka kwa watumishi wa Mungu ambao ujitokeza na kuweza kusema mara moja kwamba uh, viongozi hawa hawaongozi vizuri. Mbona nimeweza kuleta haya masungumzo? Pasta kutoka Marekani ameweza kujitokeza na kumuonya William Samoi Arap Ruto kutokana na jinsi ambavyo anaongoza taifa la Kenya vibaya. Vile vile akaweza kumwambia kwamba prepare prepare for coming stormy yaani akamwambia jiandae kwa mabaya ambayo yanakuja. Unanielewa? Kulingana na taarifa ambazo zimeweza kuchapishwa na kituo cha NTV hapa nchini cha Nation Media wanasema kwamba US based prophet warns President William Ruto of impending storm. Inaonekana kwamba kuna jambo ambalo linakuja kutendeka hapa nchini ndio maana pasta huyu ameweza kuyasema haya ameweza kumuonya William Samoei Ruto kwamba usipobadilisha nyendo zako kuna mabaya ambayo yatakuja kutendeka kati ya 2024 and 2025 so William Ruto kulingana na jinsi ambavyo alivyo sasa hivi si mtu wa kuambilika wala kusemezeka utamwambia kitu akwambie kwamba nimesikia lakini sikifanyi kazi je ataweza kuyapuuza haya ambayo yamefika hapa nchini yameenda mpaka state house yametangazwa mpaka kwenye vyombo vya habari a us based prophet known as Celestio has unveiled a dire message directed at president william samoi arap ruto a prophecy delivered with a sense of agency warns of a storm on the horizon that president william samoi ruto may find overwhelming The prophet claims to have received a divine a revelation for the Kenyan leader. Sikiliza nikusomee kidogo. God gave me a word from for President William Samoei Ruto of Kenya. He said to the President William Samoei Ruto, "You will have a storm on your hands." He said to tell he said to tell him you will have more than you can handle because my judgments coming against a Kenya for apostasy and a false prophets. Nasikia mtazamaji wangu. So, pasta huyu kutoka Marekani ameweza kujitokeza na kuweza kumu uh, anika William Samoei Ruto moja kwa moja kutoka Marekani. Anasema kwamba amepokea ujumbe kutoka kwa Mwenyezi Mungu ambao ni wa William Samoei Arap Ruto akimwambia kwamba kuna kitu ambacho kinakuja kutendeka hapa nchini kutokana na utawala wako. Unajua cha nikuambie? Lisemwalo lipo. Kama halipo lipo njiani. Nasikiliza mtazamaji wangu. Lisemwalo lipo kama halipo lipo njiani. The prophecy goes on to address the spiritual conditions of Kenya. Emphasizing the nation's historical identity as a place known for serving God. Na nielewe mtazamaji wangu. Hmm? Selesh explained that 
reprobate is deeply given over to sin almost beyond rehabilitation where a prostate has known Jesus previously burnt has turned away from the gospel hmm? the prophecy suggests that Kenya once considered a nation of worshippers is facing a divine judgment for straying from its spiritual roots the prophecy also derives into a pre predictions for the year 2024 for casting a predominant fe a feeling of insecurity too instability three fear for doubt and rage in Kenya so in short to send mambo mengi tushaskia huyu pastor ameweza kutoa mambo mengi kuhusiana na taifa la Kenya na kuhusiana na viongozi ambao wako mamlakani Pasta huyu anasema kwamba na mimi kitu ambacho kimeweza kunishangaza halijulia wapi haya maneno na yeye hakai hapa nchini anakaa Marekani by the way kwanza ni prophet na B not even pasta na B prophet anatuambia kwamba anashangaa taifa kama Kenya ambalo hapo awali lilikuwa linamjua Mwenyezi Mungu lakini sasa hivi limekwisha ondoka kwenye vitabu vya kumjua Mwenyezi Mungu limeondoka pale ishara kwamba viongozi ambao waliweza kuingia mamlakani ndio wameweza kusababisha Nataka niweze kukuelezea kitu ambacho kimefanya huyu pasta kuweza kutoa ujumbe wake kutoka mamla, Marekani kuja hapa nchini. Ujumbe ambao ameweza kuelekeza kwa William Samui Arapruto. Aswa kipindi hichi ambacho Raila Amolo Odinga ameweza kutangaza maandamano makali kuanzia 20 24 Januari. Lakini kabla ya sisi kuweza kusonga mbele tafadhali niruhusu nikukaribishe kama we ni mgeni hapa chukua sekunde moja mbili au tatu upiga subscription bonyeza kengele like video alafu share kuelekea kwa group moja mbili tatu hivi ili wa Kenya waweze kujua kila ambacho kimeweza kujiri katika taifa la Kenya kipindi ambapo tutatusemeza tafadhali tuambie ndio ambalo ulipo kama uko plus 254 tuambie mkoa wako ili tuweze kujua mahali ambapo ulipo kama uko nje ya taifa la Kenya vile vile unaweza ukafanya hivyo Uweze kutuambia taifa ambalo ulipo je unapokea jezi habari. So mtazamaji wangu umeweza kusikia pasta huyu ambaye anaitwa Celestio kutoka upande wa Marekani. Not even pasta Provet na B ameweza kutoa ujumbe kuelekea kwa serikali kuu kwamba wasipo chunga kuna mabaya ambayo yanakuja kam 2024 2025. And amesema kwanza 2024 itakuwa ni kionjo 2025 ndio itakuwa more worse kuelekea chini kwa historia ambayo nilikuwa nakusomea lakini nimeweza kuifupisha. Je, ni kitu gani ambacho kimeweza kusababisha pasta huyu kuweza kuyasema haya? Nina maswala ambayo ni matatu nataka niweze kukuambia kwa sababu umesikia kwamba taifa la Kenya ambalo lilikuwa linamcha Mwenyezi Mungu sasa hivi limekwisha ondoka pale. Kitu cha kwanza ambacho kimeweza kumsukuma uh, huyu mtumishi wa Mungu na bi kuweza kuyasungumza haya ni kutokana na kwamba bwana William Samoei Ruto ni mkora ukora wake bwana William Samoei Ruto unatokea wapi ambao umeweza kusababisha pasta kuweza kupredict kwamba hapo mbeleni 2024 2025 Kenya itakuwa pabaya Kenya vita huenda vikatokea Kenya insecurity huenda ikashuhudiwa Kenya huenda maandamano yakashuhudiwa ni kutokana na kwamba Ruto ni mkora Tumeweza kuona president William Samoei Ruto rais wetu wa taifa la Kenya akisimama mpaka kanisani just imagine mbele ya madhabahu akiwadanganya wa Kenya kwamba nitapunguza gharama ya maisha nitapunguza taxes nimeweza kuwatafutia wa Kenya kazi upande wa wapi upande wa India Saud, Saudi Arabia South Sudan Dubai Canada na US anasimama tu kanisani akidanganya wananchi hivyo vile vile anasimama kanisani akisema kwamba nikielekea ma taifa ya kigeni naenda kutafuta ajira pale kuweza kuwatafutia vijana wetu ajira hapa nchini lakini wapi anafika kule anaenda ziara zake kitafauti anaachana na maswala ambayo yanawaguza wa Kenya na ndio maana umeweza kuona huyu pasta akisema kwamba taifa ambalo hapo awali lilikuwa linamcha Mungu sasa hivi limeweza kutoka kumcha Mungu na limeweza kuelekea mahala kwingine kwa sababu viongozi ambao walikuwa wanaonekana kwamba Uh, watakuja kuliokoa ili taifa eh, wakiwa wanaonekana kwamba sasa wao ndio deputy Jesus 
kama William Samiruto sasa hivi wamegeuka wamekuwa kinyonga wanafanya vituko tofauti leo hii kutoka kanisani anasema kwamba nitapeana ajira kuelekea kwa watu wote lakini akifika katika afisi yake kipindi ambapo anateua kazi anapea kabila moja leo hii anasema kutoka kanisani kwamba nitaenda kutafutia vijana kazi upande wa Germany lakini akifika Germany anaenda kusungumzia maswala na climate change sasa si hiyo ni kuua uchumi pamoja na hiyo ni kuua dini ya taifa la Kenya unakuta kwamba watu wanasema ah kanisa hata nisiende kwa sababu naezaenda kanisa alafu ni kudanganya ni kuja kudanganya jinsi ambavyo Zakayo anaenda kanisani anakuja kuwadanganya wananchi so hiyo ndiyo sababu ya kwanza ambayo imeweza kusababisha mtumishi wa Mungu nabii Selesio kutoka Marekani kuweza kusungumza haya akisema kwamba William Samui Arapruto ngojea mabaya yatakuja kama 2024 and 2025 kutokana na kwamba yeye ni mkora sababu ya pili ambayo imeweza kusababisha pasta huyo kuweza kusungumza haya i think umeweza ku, uliweza kusikia nikikusomea kwamba taifa la Kenya hapo awali lilikuwa linamja Mungu lakini sasa hivi limefanya nini limeweza kutoka kumcha Mungu limeelekea mahala pengine sababu ya pili ambayo imesababisha pasta huyo kuweza kusungumza hivyo ni kutokana na kwamba siku hizi siku za hivi karibuni makanisa yanatumika kuweza kumtangaza William Samuel Ruto kuweza kumpigia William Samuel Ruto kampeni za 2027 na badala yake sio makanisa yote hapa nchini ambayo utaweza kupata ite kwamba yamejitokeza na kuweza kumkashifu William Samuel Ruto akimwambia kwamba hapana hapo umeweza kubomoa uchumi hapa hujaweza kupeana ajira kuelekea kwa watu wote I think uliweza kuona mtu kama Pastor Nganga alijaribu kumwambia William Samuel Ruto kwamba hauwezi karibu uchumi we expect mazuri si sote tunaelewa kitu ambacho kinaendelea kumwandama. Anataka kunyang'anywa shamba lake. Kipindi fulani tuliweza kuona Pastor Ezekiel akiambia William Samuel Ruto kwamba uh, jinsi ambavyo imeweza kuingia mamlakani. 2023 utaweza kushuhudia maandamano hapa nchini. Maandamano si yalishuhudiwa. Lakini si serikali ilianza kumwandama Pastor uh, Ezekiel Odero. So makanisa mengi sasa hivi yameanza kumdanganya William Samuel Ruto na yale machacha ambayo yanamwambia ukweli kwamba unanyanyasa wa Kenya unakuta kwamba yanaandamwa. So, makanisa haya yameanza kumdanganya William Ruto, yameanza kumpigia William Samuel Ruto kampeni badala ya kuweza kueneza neno labwa la Bwana. Na hiyo ndiyo sababu imeweza kufanya pasta huyo kutoka Marekani kuweza kujitokeza na kusungumza kwa sauti kama hiyo. Unajua kitu hichi kinanikumbusha? There was a time I saw Pauline Njoroge a uh, aliweza kuposti kwamba amepata habari kwamba pastors kutoka upande wa mlima Kenya wameelekea state house wamepewa milioni milioni kila mmoja ili kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba wanamuhubiri William Samuel Ruto wanamuundia William Samuel Arap Ruto jina kanisani sasa ili ni lile taifa ambalo hapo nyuma lilikuwa linamcha Mungu likihubiri neno la Bwana lakini sasa hivi makanisa ya sasa hivi yanamuhubiri William Samuel Ruto yani wanamuundia jina kwa sababu wameelekea state house wamepewa pesa B Pauline Njoroge akaweza kuposti hivi Mount Kenya is becoming difficult for the administration to tame politically and the churches which Ruto and Gachawa used to campaign through eh, eh, through are becoming uncooperative the mainstream church led by the Catholic churches are rising to occasion and speak truth to power. Rumor has it that after weighing the situation Gachawa decided to court the leadership of AIPCA and use it to pro, uh, propagate narratives friendly to administration. In its regard, the, they picked he picked three of the prominent bishops from the church for me uh, for a meeting with Ruto where they were each given a few millions which they are uh, they are to share with other past, uh, pastors on the lower ranks other churches in the region can that can play ball and also being identified and, and their pastors will be ta uh, taken care of i truly hope this is bad gossip because if it is a true story 
it will then mean that Ruto and Gachawa have placed their priorities on 2027 election above all else. And while the country is grappling with shortage of money to finance CDF, bursary, public servant salaries, infrastructure project, projects, etc., there is money to bribe pastors for political expediency. In 2027, something different will be happening in Mount Kenya. So, hapa hivi, umeweza kusikia kwamba baadhi ya pastors waliweza kuelekea ikulu wakapewa kitu kidogo ili waweze kumtangaza William Samuel Ruto kutokana na kwamba ground imeweza kubadilika. Na hii ndiyo sababu ambayo imeweza kufanya huyu pasta kut, ama huyu prophet kutoka upande wa Marekani kuweza kusema kwamba kuna mabaya ambayo yatakuja kutendeka hapa nchini. Akaweza kumuonya William Samuel Ruto kwa sababu makanisa ya hapo awali sio makanisa ya sasa hivi. Ya hapo awali yalikuwa na muhubiri Mwenyezi Mungu na ya sasa hivi yanahubiri mambo tofauti. I think umekwisha elewa hiyo pointi ya pili na pointi ya tatu na ya ine maneno haya ya pasta kutoka marekani yanakuja baada ya mungano wa azimio la umoja wa nikenya kutangaza kwamba come january 2024 they are now going to start countrywide mass protest na ndi umeweza kusikia kimuambia william ruto kwamba come 2024 kuna stormy ambayo itakuja katika taifa la Kenya stormi ambayo utashindwa kui handle wewe mwenyewe kuna situation itakuja kutendeka katika taifa la Kenya ambayo atashindwa yeye mwenyewe kuweza kuistahimili kumaanisha kuna maandamano ambayo yatakuja makali kushinda yale ambayo yalikuwa hapo awali na Raila Odinga aliweza kupeana makataa ya mwezi mzima January nzima kumaanisha February maandamano yanaanza hapa nchini akiwa analalamikia high taxes akamwambia William Samuel Ruto ikiwa kwamba unataka maandamano haya yasije yakafanyika hapa nchini punguza kitu ambacho kinaitwa taxes high taxes punguza pili ukitaka maandamano yasije yakafanyika hapa nchini punguza cost of living unemployment swala hilo shughulikia favorism tribalism corruption masuala hayo wacha katika serikali yako. Ni inaonekana kwamba kitu hichi ndicho kimeweza kufanya pasta huyo kutoka Marekani kuweza kutuma ujumbe huu mzito kuelekea kwa utawala wa William Samoi Arap Ruto, utawala wa Kenya kwanza. Lakini je, swali langu ni je, William Ruto ataweza kusikiliza hili kweli? Ataweza kusikiliza hili? Aweze kubadilisha jinsi ambavyo anaongoza taifa la Kenya? Aache kuwatesa wa Kenya? aanze kuongoza taifa vizuri aache kuwanyanyasa wa Kenya kwa kuweza kuteua kabila moja kazi aanze kuwateua wa Kenya wote kazi kikuwa ni vizuri uweze kutopea mchango wako wa maoni je umeweza kupokeaje huu ujumbe ambao umeweza kutolewa kutoka Marekani na pa, uh, Prophet na B na ujumbe huu umekuwa shared na kituo cha Nation Media Group ambacho ni kituo cha NTV katika taifa la Kenya sema nasi na rejira mingi tena zaidi jina langu nafahamika kama Mr Eagle 8 tafadhali piga subscription alafu tuweze kusonga mbele kwa utaratibu